What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another Division video. Today I want to talk about the build that everybody loves to hate. And basically what it is with this build, it's the Predator's Mark build. The one that makes everybody bleed. Now a lot of people don't like this build simply because it gives newcomers or noobs half a chance. My personal opinion on it is, before we crack on, is... Nomad, you get like one, two, three, four lives sometimes, so there you go. Leave Predator's Mark alone. I'm running it with the house. I'm basically going to go through each individual part here. Now, what we're going to do, this is a six-piece Predator's Mark, and I'm going to show you how I roll it, etc., etc. But I want to talk about what you get for one, uh, two pieces of Predator's Mark, three pieces, and things like that to get the maximum out of this build. Now, for two pieces, you get a 10% reload speed. For three pieces, you get 8% assault rifle damage and 8% SMG damage. Four pieces is hit the shots um, without switching target to get a 50% of the damage already done. So that's really good. Again, three piece reload speed, assault rifle damage and SMG damage. And the most important thing at all, t uh, six piece is hit 10 shots without switching target now replies the predator's mark which makes the target bleed for 50 percent of the damage already done the predator's mark ignores the target's bleed resistance and the damage over time is increased by 15 percent for every 3,000 stamina you can critically hit the target so 9,000 stamina gives you an additional 120 percent now think about that, if you get them halfway down, they're going to bleed for the rest of their life. This one's roll 2, the vest piece is roll 2, exotic damage, resilience and health, and it's got ammo capacity on it as well with stamina mods. Now I've used the best that I can for what I've picked up or what's been dropped to me, so I do need to tweak this more and it's not optimised. Um, I've rolled the mask for stamina and uh, crit hit chance, the more crit hit chance... The more crit hit damage, the better, and it's got 16% burn resistance on it as well. The knee pads is also rolled to stamina, and it's got crit hit damage on it. It's got 16% damage to elites, 53% increased kill XP, and 30% bleed resistance. I need another set of knee pads because I don't want the increased kill XP, but I had to re-roll them for stamina, so that was why that's still there. The backpack has got... Uh, stamina and crit hit damage on it, 9%. It's got 17% uh, bleed resistance. And also the gloves, I've now rolled to firearms because you've got to have some sort of firepower. It's got 17% crit hit damage, 12% SMG damage, and 6% crit hit chance. Now, the thing with this build is obviously crit hit damage and crit hit chance is very important. The holster is also rolled to firearms and it's got 4% crit hit chance. So again, trying to up that crit hit damage and crit hit chance is really important. I'm running these primary... The only real gun I actually use on this is the house. Now, this is my house. It's got 23% crit hit chance. So again, upping that critical hit chance is really important. It's got 19.8k damage with a 850 uh, revs per minute, if you like, or RPM. I've rolled it to, or it's got Deadly, Vicious, and it's also got the card counter. Deadly is critical hit damage is increased by 15%, and Vicious hit uh, critical hit chance is increased by 10% whilst having more than two segments of health. So, not the perfect one. I wouldn't really want Vicious on there, but I didn't really have a lot of choice at that time. And obviously it's got the card counter, which is one half of the magazine does 20% increased damage in comparison to the other half. These are some of the mods I've got on. They're not the best mods, but they're the best I've found for this gun so far. Again, you can have a look through that. You can pause the video, etc. I'm also running it with a lightweight M4. Um, I did try and show you here, but obviously it just didn't happen but those of you that have played the game enough can see the the talents on that all talents are open but let's have a look what the build can do so i quickly went into skirmish i wanted to have a look see what the build could do i joined a random team so i've no idea who these people are but i thought let's give it a go let's see what what the big fuss is about and see if our, our little build can do anything this was kind of a test really um 
one thing I do notice with predators, you do need sometimes to sit back a little bit because if you get too close, um, what happens is they can quite easily melt you. Although you've got 9,000 stamina, you are quite squishy. There you go, assist and a finisher there, nice one. Let's move on. Just moving around the map now, looking for the, the enemy. I am actually running this with a pulse because um, what I found was on this game, a lot of people don't run a pulse and I, I was getting sort of players come up alongside me and I didn't know where they were. Another one down there, got the player kill for that. Nice. Let's give him a, a rifle butt, down you get. Let's just move up now, there's another guy here. Oh, he's got me, there you go. So I was a bit squishy there, so hmm, not too sure about that, but again, if you can apply that bleed to the player, then it's awesome. You just focus fire one player, get a minimum of 10 shots on him. Once them 10 shots are on him, he's going to bleed. And if he's not a skilled player, he's going down. It's as simple as that. Um, the more skilled players understand... Oh, here we go. Look at the bleed. He's bleeding. He's down. Done. Melted. As soon as that bleed kicks in and they don't know what they're doing with it, it's game over for them. I absolutely love this build. It's had a lot of controversy, a lot of people don't like the build, um, but that's simply because it does give players like myself a chance, like I said. Um, if you get a skilled player with, say, Nomad, they get one, two, three, four lives sometimes. I mean, the way that the Nomad build procs is ridiculous, and each build has got its own perk. I think that the Predator build should be left alone. Another kill there. Very nice. So as you can see, it gets the bleed on. That player drops straight away, not from me so much, but from the bleed. I'm also running this with um, shrapnel, and that basically applies the bleed to anybody that's within 10 meters as well. So if I was shooting him, and his mate was stood next to him, his mate would receive the bleed also. Let's just revive this guy. Up he gets on. Let's move on. There's another one there, see if we can get him. He run right in front of me, that guy, I didn't see that. Now he is bleeding, look. He's bleeding, he's got the bleed symbol on him, and he drops. There you go. I mean, I absolutely love this build. If I could increase my skill so that when I'm in the dark zone, I could compete a little bit better against rogues, then I would be over the moon. But I'm not the best PvP player. So when I've got a build like this, it does make me particularly happy because it gives me half a chance. And that's what it's all about. And see this guy here? I'm just going to try. Let's face tank each other. Let's see what happens here. Oh, oh, he's got a bit of a bleed on him. I think he's a nomad. Just put a bit of health kit on. Put him down. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, he's down. Now, I bled out as well then, if you saw that. I think that was a bleed. I've got a feeling that maybe he was Predator or one of his friends was Predator, so it put me down also. But he didn't get away scot-free. We got him down. Right, let's crack on. Let's move on. Now, these uh, skirmish games are very short, but... Even though this on skirmish, your kit is sort of scaled down, so it kind of evens you all up a little bit, but you get the gist of what the Predator Mark's doing. Um, I am looking to improve the Predator's Mark. I've still got to optimise all my kit. Uh, it's nowhere near optimised at the moment, but all in all, I'm really, really happy with this build, and this build allows me to stand up to players that are, are very good, actually. Um, there's other builds I do run on Skirmish also. I'm not a big Skirmish player. I've only recently got back into Skirmish and Last Stand and things like that. But if you guys enjoy this video, I'll definitely do more. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get the bleed on. Feel the bleed. Oh. Oh, he's going to feel that bleed now. Has he gone down? I got the assist on him, so somebody else got the kill. So the bleed's pretty good. Oh, Seeker Mines there. Look, see, this guy can't even see me shooting him, so I'm just shooting him up. He's got the bleed, so somebody else may get the kill. No, he counteracted it by hitting his med kits and his booster shots, etc. I'm in a bit of trouble here. I'm right in between them all. Kind of running around like an headless chicken. Try and make, make yourself a hard target. I think that's the, the order of the day. Yeah, look, he's going to flank back round. All right. Five more minutes. That won't last. We're 19-8 up, as you can see in the top there. We're killing it, apparently. And there you go. 
We had the victory. That is the Predators Mark build, one that I really do love, even though a lot of people hate it. They say pred noobs, etc, etc. But don't listen to other people, guys. If that's what's going to make your game better, then my encouragement would be to use it. The only people saying that about the Predators Mark are the elite players so the players that have played this from day one but if you're new to the game and you've got a six piece predator that is how i would roll it or roll it the best you can i hope you've enjoyed this video guys look after yourselves take care peace